There are two ways to disable a crocodile, you know. I, uh, I don't suppose you care to share that information with me? Well, one way is to take a pencil and jam it in the depression hole behind his eye. And the other? Oh, the other's twice as simple. You just put your hand in his mouth and pull his teeth out. <laughs> He did have an inflated opinion of himself. Just being disarming, darling. What do you know about a man called Scaramanga, 007? Scaramanga? Oh, yes. The man with the golden gun. Born in a circus, father the ringmaster, possibly Cuban, mother English, a snake charmer. He was a spectacular trick shot artist by the time he was 10 and a local Rio gunman at 15. The KGB recruited him there and trained him in Europe, where he became a an overworked, underpaid assassin. He went independent in the late 50s. Current price, $1 million a hit. No uh, photograph on file, but he does have one distinguishing feature, however. A superfluous papilla. A what? A mammary gland. A third nipple, sir. He always uses a golden bullet, hence man with the golden gun. Present domicile unknown. I think that's all. Why, sir? Mr. Bond, bullets do not kill. It is the finger that pulls the trigger. Exactly. I'm now aiming precisely at your groin. So speak or forever hold your peace. How will I recognize it? Tall, slim and dark. So is my aunt. Anything distinctive about him? Yes, but how can I... He's not like other people, he has three. Fascinating anatomical tidbit. But probably the most useless piece of information I ever heard. Unless, of course, the bottoms up is a strip club and Scaramanga is performing there. Goof, boy. You 
you're not thinking. I sure am, boy. Never heard of Evil Knievel. I've never killed a midget before, but there can always be a first time. Oh, monsieur. Something came up. Where's Feckish? Where's Feckish? Pyramids! Ah! What a helpful chap. Where is Feckish? With the pharaohs. You killed him? No, he was dead when I found him. Enjoyed the show. Good night. What happened? He just dropped in for a quick bite. Time's running out, Stromberg. Yours too, Mr. Bond. Yours too. And faster than you think. You've shot your boat, Stromberg. Now it's my turn. In my country, Major, the condemned man is usually allowed a final request. Granted. Let's get out of these wet things. Swan, what do you think you're doing? Keeping the British hand up, sir. Nobody does. Over there. Missed, Mr. Bond. Did I? Could I interest you in something? Well, I'm tempted to say yes immediately. But I think maybe I'd better have a look around. <laughs> Play it again, son. Hang on, James. 
The thought had occurred to me. Have you broken something? Only my tailor's heart. <laughs> Desolated, Mr. Pop. <coughs> Heartbroken, Mr. Drax. Allow me. Take a giant step for mankind. Where's Drax? Oh, he had to fly. As this is the first joint venture between our two countries, I'm having it patched directly to the White House and Buckingham Palace. Well, I'm sure Her Majesty will be fascinated. We have audiovisual. Ah, at last. My God, what's Bond doing? I think he's attempting re-entry, sir. I'm a night person. I have champagne and oysters in the fridge. Why not come in for a bite? I won't need you anymore tonight. Stay on, comrade. You don't have it. I don't have it. <laughs> Continue. Good morning, sir. The name is Bond. I believe you have a reservation for me. We've been expecting you. Good. I hope you have a pleasant stay. I'm sure I will. Clay, Mr. Bond, you need a great deal of luck to get out of this. Oh, luck. Well, then I shall use player's privilege and use your lucky dice. It's all in the wrist. Double sixes. Fancy that. 200,000 rupees. I prefer cash. Get it cashed for him. Yes, sir. Spend the money quickly. Mr. Bond. I intend to. Kamal Khan. 
Stick this back yourself. You should be more concerned about getting out of here alive. I am more concerned about an atomic bomb exploding on a US Air Force base. On your feet, General. You're going to stop that train. It's too late. You can stop it at the border. Welcome, sir. I'm Jenny Flex. Of course you are. Oh, my dear, I take it you spend quite a lot of time in the saddle. Yes, I love an early morning ride. No, oh, I'm an early riser myself. It's all wrapped up. You lost, 007. Killing Tibbet was a mistake. I'm about to make the same mistake twice. My department know I'm here. When I don't report, they'll retaliate. If you're the best they have, they'll more likely try to cover up your embarrassing incompetence. Don't count on it, Zara. <laughs> you amuse me, Mr. Bond. Why, well, it's not mutual. You cut the line. Get back! <laughs> This loaded with rock salt. And now you tell me. You're under arrest. Wait a minute. This is James Stock of the London Financial Times. Well, actually, Captain, I'm with the British Secret Service. The name is Bond. James Bond. Is he? Are you? Yes. And I'm Dick Tracy, and you're still under arrest. <laughs>
Are you all right? Yes. Yes. There's never a cab when you want one. <laughs> Guys, if you're still here, you're awesome! Uh, but as you are still here, why not check out some of my other videos? Oh, and if you haven't already, please click subscribe! Laters, haters!